Hello, my name is Mason Lewis, here with Kev Levland News. We have just received word that there are trees talking to people. Stop! We have to try to interact with them and find out what it is that they are wanting to tell us. So, without further ado, here is an interview that I have done. Hello, I'm Mason Lewis here with a tree. We have just discovered that they have learned to talk and this is the tree's story. So, without further ado, let me get into some awesome questions. So, uh, first of all, when were you born? Uh, I was born in 1987 during the Cold War. Can you speak up? I can't hear you. Uh, I was born during 1987 during the Cold War. Or, and uh, they said that, uh, yeah. sir, sir, that was kind of very rude. Um, okay, so I can't hear him, but we will get back into this. We, we'll go to a different tree and interview them. So let's go. Cut the camera. Okay, so it turns out trees aren't the ones who are talking it's actually this metal tree I don't know what people call them but we will find that out right now so sir what is it like supporting America dink 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 that is a very wonderful story okay so it turns out grass is what actually talks so we're gonna interview some grass also and we're gonna discuss whether or not it is actually uh, poisoning our youth's minds. So, let's ask some questions. Okay, Grass, so, so, what are some common accusations that you have been receiving? They say that we need water, but we don't really need water because water is a... Ah, okay, so, one, one thing I should tell you is you're very itchy sometimes. Like right now, me laying in it, it's kind of itchy. I forgot the name. There was a movie about little things in grass, and uh, I wanted to know if uh, that movie is actually true. Uh, I don't even know what a movie is because we don't watch movies when we we'll, we'll get a class. Ah, okay. So, the camera probably can't pick up your voice. If it does, you probably sound British because. I get kind of a British tone whenever I'm talking to you, and uh, it uh, seems like you are British. So is that true that you are British on American soil? Don't call me soil. Oh, you think soil is a very offensive word? I am so sorry. Uh, on American ground. I'm not British, but I think my cousin is. So yeah. That's ah, so your cousin is the same. All right, well, we're going to go interview some bushes. And uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Kev Levelin News isn't real. You probably Kev think Levelin it is, news. but just know it's not. So there is a bush talking here. This is crazy. This is crazy news. But uh, I have some questions to ask you. Are you, by any chance, related to trees? What's the matter with you? I'm not related to trees. All right, you heard it here first, folks. Bushes are not, in fact, related to trees. Let's ask another question. Do birds like to hide out inside of you? Yes, the birds do like to hide. Ah, does it hurt? Yes, the birds feel real nice inside me. Hey, is that water? Yes, this is water. Would you like some? Yes, you stupid idiot. What kind of reporter are you to not know that? I need it to survive, you damn wanker. Oh, uh Oh yeah, that H2O feels real nice. I bet it did feel great. Back to you, Mason. So, as you can see, trees do talk. And it's not just trees. It's also poles, it's also bushes, and it's grass. One thing I love is the bark of a tree and how beautiful it is. I'll see you next time on Kev Loveland News. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey! Hey! Stop!